Hello everyone, and welcome to the weird, scary, and horrible parts of humanity. Today we are exploring Genzo Kurita, who is one of Japan's most prolific serial killers, having committed eight murders, as well as committing necrophilia, indiscriminately murdering people over four years. Kurita was born on the 3rd of November 1926 in Akita, in what was then the Empire of Japan. His father had a low income making nets and catching small fish. He grew up in a poor family with 12 siblings. His father then became sick and then his mother went to work with the family, the poorest in the village. A shy boy and bullied at school from the third grade of elementary school, he began skipping school and playing alone in the mountains. He also had the habit of peeing in his bed throughout his teenage years. At the age of 18, he began working at a farm, but was fired because of the smell of urine from his bed. He then entered the Hirosaki Infantry Regiment as a miner at the Bibai Coal Mine in Hokkaido. He then started undertaking manual work. At the age of 22, he committed his first murder, murdering his two girlfriends in February 1948 when he was drunk and sentenced to jail for two years. Released, he was subsequently arrested once again for burglary. On the 8th of August 1951, he raped and murdered a 24-year-old woman from Koyama Town in Shimotsuga District, Toji Prefecture, which is now Koyama Town. The woman's baby was watching while their mother was raped and murdered. He then proceeded to commit necrophilia on the woman's corpse. Police collected a fingerprint at the crime scene but could not link it to Kurita. Able to remain undetected, on the 11th of October 1951, he raped and murdered a 29-year-old mother who had three children, two daughters aged seven and two, and a son aged five. He then threw her young children off a cliff called Osen Korogashi. The eldest daughter survived by slipping down into the darkness, slipping under the cliff, and suffering minor injuries. Seeing the killer, she was able to identify Kurita. By this stage, Kurita was wanted nationwide for thefts he had committed in Akita, and suspected of the previous murders he had committed. A few months later in Chiba, on the 13th of January 1952, he killed a 63-year-old woman and her 24-year-old niece at their home in Kemigawa in the northern suburbs of Chiba City, Chiba Prefecture. The 63-year-old woman was a housewife who had been stabbed to death while her niece had been strangled with a towel and there was no evidence that she had been raped. Police found fingerprints on the corpse of the woman and Kirita was arrested on the 16th of January 1952 at his brother-in-law's house. Kurita initially denied the murders but later confessed on the 17th of January 1952 to the murders and informed police that these were the first murders that he committed, which of course was erroneous. Charged for the last two murders, he was sentenced to death at the district court in Chiba. Police later linked him through fingerprints collected at the scenes of his other crimes to six murders. He was then taken to the district court in Utsonmiya, where he was sentenced to death for his other murders on the 21st of December 1951. He appealed his sentence but retracted this appeal on the 21st of October 1954, claiming that he wanted to die and to be sentenced to death, stating that he wanted his death to be quick and easy. Furthermore, he committed self-harm in prison in 1954 by breaking glass with the aim of cutting himself to death, but survived. Psychological examinations found him to be both a neurotic and a danger to himself. He regularly assaulted guards and continued to pee his bed. He was executed on the 14th of October 1959 in Akita. Thank you for watching. Please do yourself a favour and hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to inform you when new videos come out. Also, why not hit that like button and leave a nice comment. It helps more than you know and your support is truly appreciated. Until next time, stay awesome, stay classy, be kind to everyone you meet and have an amazing day.